Hi, my name is Mitch, and in this assessment for Bus 105, I will be explaining the information and special features on the new, innovative Lily drone camera. The design and making of the Lily camera has only started in the last three years, but has also been made available to pre-order this year, and finally being made able to purchase in February 2016. So, do you guys have an anticipated price point you're trying to hit on this thing? Yes, yeah, so we're launching a pre-sales campaign on May 12th and it's going to be at $499. The promotional video that has been released on the Lily camera highlights all its great new aspects that trump other competition, like being self-automated, waterproof, high quality 1080p video recording with 12 megapixel shots, the throw and go style flying, and the easy storage and carrying breeze. The camera has a much higher standard than the rest of its competition. Its camera quality alone matches the recently released GoPro Hero 3, giving as great footage quality from a drone as you would find from a full action camera. These statistics show that the Lily camera is on a whole new innovative level than that of its other competition. Sarah will now further discuss the innovative concepts on the Lily camera. True to the Lily camera's catchphrase, camera reinvented, this new product has revolutionised action and sporting cameras, and it is clear that the flight capabilities of the Lily are innovative to this market. The Lily is a camera that follows the user, a feature that is currently unmatched in the market. The flight technology immediately positions the Lily ahead of competition cameras such as the GoPro, as such existing cameras must be strapped down or held onto. A direct appealing result of the flight abilities of the Lily is the elimination of camera and motion shake when filming footage. So what are some of the things, that, I think you mentioned earlier, like if I go up in the air, it'll automatically go in slow-mo. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? So I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I don't yeah, even know anything so the about tracking that. device has sensors that know how you're moving. So if you're in the air, for example, Lily will know and will be able to detect that movement and do slow-mo right there for this specific moment. The Lily has an internal camera which separates it from drone technology by making it a more personal device and eliminating the need for an external added camera, such as a GoPro. Coupled with the innovative flight technology, the Lily uses GPS and tracking data to keep it nearby and under the user's vision. Okay. So you can see now Lily is tracking me and keeping me in the frame while staying in place. Yeah, it's slowly rotating yep. to keep, well, that's cool. It's like a, a tripod you can place anywhere in space and always keeps you in the frame. The tracking device also allows the user to easily monitor the battery level. Not only is the Lily lightweight, fits easily in a backpack and is well waterproof, but it is produced by 3D printing, a fairly new and novel product production method. Hello, my name is Chloe and I'll be talking about some of the marketing theory and concepts surrounding the Lily camera. I want is the desire to satisfy needs in specific ways that are culturally and socially influenced. Capturing footage is something that has grown exponentially since the first camera was invented. Today, culture and society want to capture most aspects of our lives, whether it is filming a live concert, a baby's first steps or extreme sports. The demand for new, versatile and quality products makes this a very monopolistic competitive market. The Lily ca camera is a reasonably high quality consumer good. With its midnight black polycarbonate body and brushed aluminium, it is a flying waterproof video camera that follows the user around. So this is a really uh, consumer friendly but has a lot of other implications as well. Like I, Even though I shoot professionally, this still seems really cool for me. I yeah. could totally see myself using this. It is designed to be able to fit in a backpack so it is easily portable. The camera is priced at $1,300 Australian and will be available to order online from February 2016. Lily Camera is promoting their product by using a rare raise awareness campaign. So the Lily Camera is the first truly um, flying camera, true flying camera. Why is it a true flying camera? Because it's all integrated. The camera is built in and it's super easy to use. All you have to do is throw it in the air and let Lily do the rest. A month before the release date, the camera is available for a 29 day pre-order for only $650. The camera has a specific segment to market to and this will be very similar to their main competitor, the GoPro. The Lily camera is marketed to both genders, however focusing more on the male segment due to psychographics. It is aimed at people who want to film and capture their experiences whether it be extreme sports, traveling, or athletic purposes. 
This audience values good quality footage of their activities and could really be from any geographic. And we're really excited to give this to people and see how they're using it. Okay. We think there's a lot of use cases in sports and outdoors activities in general. Typically though, it will be aimed at younger demographics due to the specific values and wants of this audience. They have used a concentrated market strategy. So what separates this from some of the other, the other competitors out there uh, that also are trying to do this whole follow thing? What makes this thing special? Definitely. So one core thing is that by having the camera built in, we're able to do computer vision. And the result is that you can get shots much closer to you. You don't have to be 50 feet away from, um, I mean, Lily doesn't have to fly 50 feet away from you to keep you in the frame. It can, get, it can get much closer, 10, 20 feet. And that's really where you get the really magical shot. This is where they focus the market on one specific value. For example, a flying camera that follows you to the niche market. They have positioned this camera to have the latest technology matching their competitors but are using the added feature of it flying above to separate it and create a competitive advantage. A product has three layers, the core product, actual product and augmented product. The core product is a flying camera that follows you to capture film and photos of you from above. The actual product is shaped like a giant M&M with four propellers, a camera, sensors, built-in lithium battery, waterproofing and a 4 gig memory. It is 8.18 centimeters high 26.1 centimeters square and weighs approximately 1.3 kilos. It comes delivered in a box with a tracking device, wrist case, user manual and a charger. Uh, will there be a battery meter on this somewhere? How will it tell me? So there's a there's some of flight time, the battery is built in and it will give you a notification if it's about to run out. How does it do that? Does it like send a message? So this has this? a vibration motor actually. So it will vibrate and then if you don't respond, it will send you a notification on your phone. If you still don't respond, it will hover in place and smoothly land when there's no battery. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. It also comes with a 30-day worry-free guarantee and a limited one-year warranty. The user can also download the Lily Companion app available on iPhone and Androids. The consumer would most likely perceive this as a high involvement decision-making process due to the price and speciality of the product. This would either make the camera a heterogeneous shopping or a specialty good, depending on how the consumer perceives this risk.